Man, I wish I could draw art. It sucks that I can't draw or make anything look good. Shut up. You can draw, and I can prove it. Do you think this looks good? I'm sure you don't, and if you leave a comment saying it does, I'm going to delete it. Anyways, this is how I started drawing. Eventually, I'd end up making something like this, or this, or even this. But we all have to start somewhere. Contrary to popular belief, I am not naturally talented, as some people are. If anything, I'm naturally stupid, but self-deprecation is a topic for another video. So let's talk art. Or at least how to get better at it. Now, most people start drawing from a young age, and while I can barely color in the lines, I have made a couple half-mediocre sketches throughout the past year. Over the summer, I was bored and thought it would be cool to learn how to draw for a while, so I sat down and made it happen. I started with something as simple as an internet meme, which took maybe 10 minutes max. However, over the course of the following days, I would increase that amount of time that I spent drawing and push myself to make higher quality sketches. Now, I would like to preface this video in saying that none of the art that I've sketched is original, as the intent was to completely recreate the images that I was referencing. The aim of this was that if there's an image that caught my attention, learning to recreate something that already exists would help me understand the spatial dynamics to basically learn how to draw. Now, I have literally zero experience beyond this, so at face value, I'm just a guy with an indefinite number of sticky notes, a pencil, and several eraser corpses. So my solution was just ask people who have real experience. After all, we have a Discord server of like 300 intelligent people, so why not just ask them? I interviewed seven people and asked them all the same set of five questions. Why did you start creating art? Why do you continue making art? If you had one specific and concise piece of advice for beginners, what is it? What do you like about your art now that you weren't able to do when you started? And lastly, if you could do one thing differently when you first started, what would you have changed? Using what I've sketched so far as a basis, I'll give some advice from my perspective that I think would be beneficial. This will also be my attempt to quickly answer those questions myself, as my answers overlap a bit with what the actual artists have said. But I would also like to do my absolute best to provide everything to those in pursuit of creating art, so as a beginner, I feel like I can talk about that a little bit. And quite frankly, it's also a journey that I enjoyed, and if you clicked on this video, chances are you would enjoy it as well. I think that also almost perfectly answers question one, as ultimately my decision to try to learn how to draw came from wanting to learn a new skill. In the other half, unsurprisingly, out of boredom, because gaming has slowly been losing its appeal, at least to me. Again, a topic for another video. Wow, it's like twice in one video I said that. Crazy, right? Next, I continue trying to sketch things every now and then, to improve just a bit more. See, ultimately, the idea is to become better at something. So if I stopped, I likely wouldn't become better at it unless I studied it. But truthfully, art is one of those things that you'll only ever get good at if you start and keep going with it. My very first sketch, which honestly was just a meme I wanted to post because I wasn't publicly a furry at that point and attention seeking is funny or something, but the point is, it's not the best. It's kind of low quality, it was made in like 10 minutes, probably even less than 10 minutes honestly, but it's just not that great. Although from there, it became a system of slowly trying to add shading, depth of color, despite the medium being monochromatic, and even funny titles because I thought it was a unique bit of flair to add to the art. Ultimately, it was a game of experimenting with something new each drawing, whether that was a font style, trying not to accidentally smudge something, or even the art within art of trying to perfect something as small as drawing an eye within such a small confined space. And to more or less summarize this question, I enjoy trying to find something new within a hobby that's been around for thousands of years in my own weird goofy furry way of doing it. Alright, my one specific and concise piece of advice for beginners is the following. Now please, and I mean please, listen up because quite frankly this is what I believe to be the most important part of this video. Go pick up a pencil and paper and draw. Right now. Carpe diem, or seize the day. To get something done, you have to start, and every great artist, YouTuber, or project starts with the very first step. Make the absolute most of your motivation, and I can guarantee you'll see success shortly thereafter. What do I like about my art now that I wasn't able to do when I started? I'm actually not sure how to answer this, but I have tried actually making some of my own unique drawings. I might try to finish it eventually, if videos don't take up most of my time alongside not failing out of college. Hopefully. Tangent aside, it's cool to make something unique, and it's also for a friend, so I get to not only do something for a friend, but that skill I started learning many months ago is finally paying off. If I could do one thing differently when I first started art, it would probably just be an extension of what I said earlier, which honestly is just making the most of the motivation that I have today. Now, I have a small collection of images that I've saved that I thought would be cool to try to draw. This could be game logos, memes, and is most definitely 110% random furry nonsense. But the point is, when I see these images, I should have made a better effort to try to draw them the day that I saw them, when I had the motivation to make something from it, rather than seeing it on my backlog of things to do months later, with a far greater reduced sense of motivation towards those tasks. Wow, that was a mouthful. Anyways, let's move on to the professionals. From those five questions, here are the interviews that followed. I also asked the artists to provide some of their old work and new work that we'll show during the interview, so you can learn alongside them. And I promised those that were interested that they could plug their art in the video if you see anything that you'd like. Also, chances are, if you go commission them, it would make them very happy. So by all means, feel free to reach out, join the Discord server, and see where life takes you. So, people probably know you as the channel artist, the guy who made all the character stills or whatever, if people, you know, actually read the description. But, uh, I don't judge, right? Right? Um, now, um, do you want to plug anything real quick as well? 
I'm not. There you no. Go. Oh, you don't want to plug I'm, your, your Twitter? No, my Twitter, uh, I deactivated that. I'm going to start a new one. Oh, okay. Well, there goes that. Yeah. Anyways, so, Sorry. why did you start creating art? Like, what was your, your inspiration? Why did you do this? Uh, my biggest inspiration back was back in, I think, 2011, when I started drawing as a kid. Okay. Uh, throughout school, and just, it, because it caught my interest. Yeah, you know, like, you like, just wanted to learn how to do something, like, yeah. I guess you saw other people up, do it. Yeah, yeah. And growing up, I didn't really have Wi-Fi. So, all I had was, you know, like, like, internet from, like, a phone, you know? Like, I would use my mom's phone and, like, look up references and stuff from, like, certain games that, that, uh, uh, that I would play. And one of my biggest inspirations from, for getting into art itself has to be Five Nights at Freddy's. Starting out drawing, I drew so much Five Nights at Freddy's that it was actually crazy. My entire sketchbook, I'd be drawing in class, and I would even get interrupted by the teacher to stop drawing and pay attention. And I wasn't the brightest learner in school because my focus would be on drawing for the longest time, right? Yeah, yeah, I but feel you. That was my inspiration, just Five Nights at Freddy's, and yeah. Sharks were a big thing too. I, I drew a lot of sharks. And then it was Five Nights at Freddy's, and the second big thing was Minecraft. I loved Minecraft when I was a kid. Yeah. Minecraft I mean, I, was my favorite thing. I'm sure some of the people that are watching are probably going to be like, oh, yeah, hey, there's that video game that I like, or oh, hey, there's this movie, or I don't know. Yeah, FNAF's, well, FNAF's I mean, a movie now, so. Um, I'm, I'm only 20 years old, so, I mean, I'm considered still young, you know? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I'm still, you know. I mean, I didn't even, like, like oh, well, isn't our prime so like he, our late twenties? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't but know. Some people are gonna be about. like, "Oh, he's not that. He's he's not that old. He's not that young." But to me, that was young. Yeah, you yeah. Know, back in two thousand eleven and two thousand thirteen, playing Minecraft and everything. And yeah, I mean, I kind of figure most but, of the people watching are probably like also playing Subway Surfers on their phones right now, so they're probably young relative to us. But I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah. But so, I, I guess on, on, yeah, on that topic, why do you continue making art? Like, you started then, you've been doing this, you said, since 2011, right? So that's, yeah. did you say 2011? So yeah, 13 years, yeah. right? Why, why yeah. keep doing it? Well, the thing with that is when I started drawing, I would have, like, really long breaks because I had certain family, like, family issues and school issues. So I wouldn't be drawing constantly. But... But basically, you know, like, so I would have periodic breaks of drawing, and then I would come back to it, like, like I didn't have my drawing skills like I had back then when I stopped. But then, you know, it was like a learning process over and over again, because I didn't keep up that momentum throughout the rest of my life. So I'll have dips and like, you know, like, Sometimes I'll have to fall down the hill and then climb back up it again because I just dropped it for so long. I would try to pursue other things like music and stuff, but it didn't really hit close to home as drawing. So I continue to make art because mostly because it's a passion. It's 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 what I do and it's like I can imagine something, right? And then it it comes into my head, and I'm like, oh, I can draw this, I can sketch it out, it's in my head, I can literally draw anything that comes to mind, or try to at least, you know, because the imagination is a big thing uh, when it comes to art. That's how most concept artists, you know, like, character designers do it, do it, you know? Yeah. And it's just, you, you have so much creativity, <coughs> and also, Sorry. like, you know, no, it's all good. Like, I like drawing for people. It's one of my favorite things to do. Because when they get the product that I drew, and they're, like, satisfied with it, it fills me with, you know, determination. And it... I know, you're gonna, you're gonna do something with that, with that little... That little you're gonna do something, and I know it. But it kind of fills me with determination, and it pushes me to go forward, because I love seeing when people compliment my work. I love seeing people enjoy what I draw. 
and it makes me happy, you know? So gratification, like, you'd say, like, as yeah, a, gratification. sort of a blanket statement, and I, but yeah. Yeah, and I also love what I draw, you know? My favorite uh, genre of, you know, art is the fantasy stuff, the like, the video game stuff. I tried to get into realism, uh, I might study it later on, because, yeah, I... Yeah, like, you're really good with anatomy from what I've seen, so, and, like, yeah, the, the things so, we've been putting up on screen, like, they, uh, yeah. you know. My, my biggest follow was anatomy. Uh, yeah, so I know a little bit of anatomy more than I do anything else in art, and that's why I sort of, you know, flip to that side of drawing, and yeah, that's Alrighty. why I continue to make art. Yeah, I got you. Now, if you had one specific and very, like, I don't know, something that other people probably wouldn't say as like, oh, hey, you should try this when you're first starting off. What would that be? When you first start off with art, stop tracing. Tracing isn't going to get you anywhere. And also, use reference. People who say, if you use reference, you won't get good art, you will get good art. Because the more you study something, and the more you study the perspective and the way it looks, you'll get better at drawing that. Drawing, drawing is like, is like building something. It's like 3D modeling. You you create a shape and then you hook it to the you know canvas. It's like you carve it out with your pencil, basically. And everything is like, basically, all you have to know when drawing is shape, shapes, form, and just form. Yeah, form. It's just form, forms and shapes. It's not complicated at all. For the people who don't know what that means, what's the difference between that? Shapes and form. So shapes, like, like you know how your arm is like a form. Your arm is a shape. Once you laid out the shape, you form it. it, it it's like sculpt, basically. You just sculpt it. Yeah. But I'm not sure that's going to make a lot of sense, but it'll make for a really funny edit, trust me. Um, <laughs> so, um, uh, yeah, it's just, just fun over just if you're starting out just work with shapes yeah like like make it simple right yeah make it simple or i guess keep it simple so all right so what do you like about your art now that you weren't able to do any started so like what can you do now that you couldn't do back in 2011 other than draw something other than fnaf um what i like that i can do now is draw certain character without struggling as much as I did back then. Because back then, all I really knew how to do was draw block characters and Five Nights at Freddy's character. The but Five Nights at Freddy's just... Minecraft skin. But now I can draw, you know, things like titans, like goblins, orcs, rabbits, armored people, you know, like certain characters that I like from like media, video games. Like, I can draw all of that now. Like, I can, I can actually draw, like, bodies, figures. But I wasn't able to do that back then because I had no, none of the knowledge. And I didn't have internet that, like, I didn't have access to internet. So keep that in mind. I, I, when I was a kid, I struggled a lot. But now I'm, I'm pretty good. Yeah, I got you. Okay. Um, so... I guess you'd say, I guess to more quantify that, that you like your ability to, um, I guess, diversify your art, make something like you like. Why can't I think of words? My allergies are like impairing me. Um, Alrighty, next question. Um, <laughs> if you could do one thing differently when you first started, like say you could go back to 2011 and say, yeah. hey, old me, do this, stop doing this, whatever. What would that thing be? Coloring. Coloring, shading, lighting, all of that. What specifically? Most of my art now is mostly just inking and just pencil art. I don't really color anything in. Because sometimes I won't understand lighting or like shading at all. So you wish you could go back and do more of that back in 2011? I wish I could go back and learn that more than I did drawing just regular figures without. Because now, 
uh, I'm still learning color uh, thing. And just like color in general, how light hits the character, like etc. You know? Yeah. It's still, it's still, I'm, I'm still getting into groove. I'm still trying to figure out that stuff. Well, uh, I think I'm gonna call the interview there. Though. That was good. Uh, how many, how much footage do we get? That's like 20 minutes of it. Most of it was probably me waiting and or blowing my nose and or you know allergies. But maybe it's hopefully salvageable. You know. Um, thanks Sorry. for your time though. Um, and yeah. yeah, hopefully this goes in the video yeah. and it doesn't get scrapped like a lot of other ideas. <laughs> but uh, it yeah, get scrapped. I'm pretty upset, but hopefully it doesn't. Thank you for interviewing me. Appreciate it. Yeah, I got you. As hopefully, always. hopefully most of my words made sense. If they didn't, then I'm gonna look like a complete idiot. Well, don't worry. That's what editing is for. There so. you go. Yeah. Worst case scenario, I'll have I'll have Luke make you say something that you didn't say, but it sounds like super intelligent using like syllables from different words. There you go. Cool. But yeah. Just AI my voice in there. there you yeah, go. yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'll, uh, <laughs> right. I'll see you around. See you, man. Have a good one. You too. And so, there we go. Yeah. First interview that I conducted. I don't know what order this will go in the video, but yeah, he seemed, I mean, he's, he's knowledgeable. Like, he's been doing this for 13 years. Um, started in 2011, like we said, you know, like 8 billion times or something. Um, and yeah, his advice was simple and concise like simple keep it simple and it'll get better you know um he's on this for a really long time so if you're starting off especially like i was don't expect anything super crazy but yeah on to the next interview hey hello second interview let's go um i'm not even sure if this will be played in order i did interview got first i don't know if i told you that but um yeah, yeah. so uh i'll get right down to it why did you start creating art? Uh, well, funny enough, it uh, was actually from a Netflix commercial. Um, I started creating it because I, I ended up seeing it. I thought it looked really cool and decided to do some fan art of a Netflix commercial. Oh, that sounds like the, uh, like, you yeah, know, people were like obsessed with like the Super Bowl commercials. Oh yeah, yeah. Was it like the same vibes where it was just like super high energy, super random, or? Uh, it, it was. I don't know. Um, I, I don't know if you know. If you probably don't. Uh, back in like 2012 ish area, maybe 11. It had a. Uh, it was like a beaver. <laughs> it, it's. You could probably find it. Was it the out. the State Farm Insurance thing? Uh, no. Nah, I don't know if that's a beaver. It, it I might know what you're talking about too, which is scary. I, I don't know. <laughs> nah, it, it, it's hard to explain. It's been so long since I've seen it, but that that's about the first time that I can remember where I started actually doing stuff with art. Yeah, and that was kind of like your your lead into it, I guess. Yeah, it's actually a really funny origin story. I um, I genuinely never would have thought of something like that. But hey, teach their own, right? Um, that is funny. Um, so why do you continue doing it though? Like, what kept like why did you stick around with it? Um, I think mostly from what. I'd have to say it's more for, for just trying to get better at it and trying to uh, to make something cooler each time. And that That's pretty much the only reason I kind of stick around. And, like self-improvement? Yeah. And there's no like extrinsic force of like your friends love it or... I know some people yeah, that's their I, drive, I, but... It, it's just me. No one, no one usually sees a lot of this stuff. Honestly, I respect that. I feel like 300 years from now, when we're all fossilized, people are going to be digging up your stuff and being like, wow, he's like Da Vinci, but I don't know what your IRL name is, but I know we all have like names that don't sound nearly as epic as like the people back then, but you know you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, wow. That'd be funny. Um, I'd be more creepy if someone dug this up like 300 years later, and then they're like, wait, 
how are they thinking about things like that far ahead? Or, like some level of meta. I don't, know. I don't watch horror things, but that's kind of what comes to mind, or just some like mystery level of nonsense. Yeah. We'll see into the future. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Anyways, back on track because I'm not diagnosed with ADHD, but everyone says because I play like eight games simultaneously in class some days. But anyways, uh, back on track for real. If you had one specific and concise piece of advice for beginners, what would that be? I'd say to just just keep at it, because uh, there I've noticed more improvement from just constantly everyday drawing just a little bit, even if it wasn't like a full finished piece, I guess. Did you ever have, like, a uh, schedule for that when you were first learning? Um, no, I just, I did it whenever I felt like it, to be honest with you. Yeah, I mean, because I guess for some people, if they want to get good at something, a lot of people lack the drive to be consistent in their persistence with it, if that makes sense. Um, yeah. Like, for me, when I started drawing stuff, I don't know, did you ever go through the art channel and hit, like, Control f and then search, like... If you say you like Vel's stuff, I don't know if you looked at like all the things she's drawn in there. I know some people will do that from time to time. I didn't even know that you could do Control F to be honest with you. Yeah, if you ever want Discord hotkey tips, I could talk about that for hours because I'm a computer engineer with a furry profile picture, so that says a lot about me. Um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, you can you can do that. You can go look through the art channel and. and so you're like, oh hey, this is by this person, oh this is where this person started, whatever. For me, I started in, um, gosh, summer of last year, I think? And it was the most idiotic thing possible to start the journey. It was the boy kisser meme. Funny, right? Hilarious, even. Um, but I wasn't consistent with it. Like, the first couple nights I did stuff, it was just like, oh hey, this is really easy, let's try this, and then let's try adding a little bit more detail. And now I'll spend like sometimes two, maybe three, probably not quite three hours on a thing. For most of the stuff I draw is not very crazy. It's just like, oh, hey, this would be cool. And usually it's not original either. <laughs> but um, yeah, so. That, that's, that's what helps out. So like a whole bunch of you know, the, the stuff that ain't original. It's, yeah. And that's exactly what Gut said as well. He said, whatever you do, don't trace. And I was like, hmm, is this directed at me? Because, you know, I basically trace. But, uh, <laughs> Um, yeah, so. So, persistence. That is that is your, your advice. Persistence is key. Already. So, what do you like about your art now that you don't think you were quite able to do when you first started? It could be small, it could be big. Um, I think the biggest thing, or the, there, I guess there's two things that really to really stick out. Uh, I, I used to struggle a lot with fur, like a long time ago, and uh, also like poses. I, I couldn't really, uh, even now I'm struggling with poses, but you know, like that, that before I used to draw like from the, down to like the neck, like the head down to the neck and never go below that. I was afraid of drawing a body and fur was always just like super sharp weird looking triangles so I, I think that would have to be the main the main things that I'm, I'm glad that I'm able to do now I guess yeah kind of similar with what I had there's a big difference between a curved line and a straight line I think line might inherently mean straight but a curve versus a line, I guess, for better clarification. Um, whereas even some of the stuff now, I'll notice that I do that, and I'll have to like erase it, go back, and be like, oh, this is straight lines should be curved. And um, it, I mean, it really does make all the difference. So, but I guess with you, it was just fur, and you also said uh, positions, like what way someone's yeah. facing, or uh, huh? like the way someone's facing, like in a in a piece, or. Uh, well, that, and, um, other than, like, I don't know if I have any, for the, uh, I don't know if you can see it, the one where they're running through the forest. Yeah. 
if you know what I'm talking about. Because, mm-hmm. uh, like, the, like, I guess, like, like, the arm on, like, the, the left one, it's, like, kind of bent, but it's also... Uh, yeah, like, like, trying to make it look like they're actually running, but I... It, like, it could definitely be better, you know, like... Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know how to explain it any more than that. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's still something you can look at and be like, hmm, this is something to look at. But I do actually might have a solution for you. Um, so gut is really good with anatomy or like stuff like that. Obviously, you've seen people like, you know the two lines people do? It's like a crosshair almost that people will put and they angle them or bend them in a way that they want their characters to look. Same thing with joints sometimes. Sometimes that actually yeah, helps, yeah. but uh, there's also a lot of like stuff you can look up for that, which I'm sure you have, so... I mean, you've been doing this longer than I have, so... Uh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> if you could do one thing differently back when you started, however long ago that was, and change one thing, just one, who know, what would that be? Oh, jeez. Um... He wasn't ready. Caught him off guard, woo! Uh, I'm stumbling over here. That's fine, take your time. Uh, I'd have to say, uh, probably... Impressions, I guess. Change it to... Probably have to... Yeah, something like that. <laughs> so I guess the difference between someone looking, like, depressed versus someone looking... I don't know, dazed, yeah, like, off in the distance. Reminiscent. I, I kind of... If I if I spent more time on that, it'd probably be because it it's it's the first thing that you know everyone sees, right? You know, mm-hmm. like it, I guess something like that. So in a more concrete way, I guess because that's the thing you would change. But what do you think? I guess now, like, what do you think impacts that the most? I guess like, do you think lighting plays into that the most? Shading, coloring, uh, line art. Oh, I'm just um, saying those words here. I think something that I, I I found recently, and I don't know if it, it is true for a lot of stuff, but like eyes really seem to be a big part. You know, like so, like if you do like a normal just circle, it almost doesn't doesn't work as much as like a, like a more detailed. I, like, if that makes sense. Yeah, or I guess like, it, uh, stylistically there's some approach to it, right? Yeah. I mean, that, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> that's all. So I, I guess the amount of detail for, to more yeah, really for quantify that, yeah. that or frame it. Yeah, cool. Uh, thank you for all of the advice. I'm sure someone will hopefully learn stuff from it if people even made it as far in the video and I'm not just a nobody. That would be depressing. Hopefully I'm not. Or I hope they're not depressed. I don't know. Anyways, um, do you want to plug anything? Nope, do you want somewhere to... is not... Yeah. Do you want to plug anything? Or, uh... Nah. You sure? You don't want to, like, scream at people like, Hey, check out my animations at... I don't know. E926. I... Because I'm not going to say the weird I... one. <laughs> I, I think, um... They'd be more depressed watching it. It's... <laughs> Uh, I'll just I'll just let it go there. All right, so nothing to plug. Yeah, no worries, no worries. Um, yeah, cool. I, I just I, I try to offer it to everyone. So, and you wouldn't believe it. Like it's it's funny how people are both reserved at the same time about their stuff, but then when they want to put it out there, they really want to put it out there, right? So there's some like duality to that. But. Anyways, thank you for your time. I greatly appreciate it. Good luck with the house pets animation bloopers. Hopefully those will be out soon if people are watching this video before the shorts. Or maybe this video comes out three years later and I'm already graduated from college and it's weird. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, thanks again. I'll see you around. Um, thank you for letting me do this. This is, this is really cool. Yeah, and hopefully, I don't know if you'll check out the video, but hopefully other people, maybe they'll give you some tips you can use, I don't know. Part of, part of this is also for me, in a way, because it's like, oh hey, I suck at art still, but it's cool, it's fun, sometimes there's things to learn, 
And I've learned a lot sometimes just listening to something versus saying things. Because I'm really good at talking, at least maybe 20% of the time. But uh, getting to listen to some people's advice, take it to heart, you know. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, third time's the charm. I will see you around. Have a good one. Thanks again. And the, what, second, yeah, and the second uh, interview's done. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, he did well with that. I uh, don't really have any crazy things. I'm probably, there's probably no reason to leave this part in. I just thought it'd be interesting to give like final thoughts at the end of each interview, even though probably there's no reason again to keep it in the video. Second one done. Ooh. Art interview time, right? Um, you're the third one to go, so yeah. yeah. Um, if you just want to get right into it, I don't know. Um, I usually say this for the very end, but because it's on my mind and before I forget, would you like to plug anything? Would I like to plug anything? Yes, um, like any, like, oh, hey, check this out or check out this art thing. I, I don't know, anything. Um, well, I think the best art uh, page to find me would be likely my for affinity. Well, two of my accounts. You can find me as uh, Veloxization, B E L O X I Z A T I O N, or as Childlier if you're more into like transformation stuff, which is C H I L D O L I R. Cool. So hopefully people will check that out after this. But um, yeah. So I guess just want to get right into the art. I guess. So why did you? Or I guess the interview. I don't know. Words are hard. <laughs> um, yeah. So why did you start creating art? Like, what was the the reason behind that? Um. Well, of course, I drew some things before this, but what really got me started uh, was picking up role playing as a hobby. Like, of course, I wanted artwork of my characters, but I had a limited chance of getting it. So. The best course of action was, of course, to start drawing the character artwork myself, and that's how it started. Yeah, I know if it was me, I probably would have used AI art because I'm lazy, but yeah, that's a good way to start. Um, <laughs> so, I guess what kind of uh, RP or roleplay was the... I'm mean, like D&D type things, I know we've talked about this in the past, but... Uh, uh, not really D&D, it was uh, text-based, like, for roleplay. Uh, one more time, like what kind of role playing? Uh, uh, forums. Oh, forum. Okay, I thought I heard furry, but you know. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, furry forum. I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I figured. Uh, starts with forums, and where it goes from there is unknown. Uh, either the route of 4chan or other things. But um, <laughs> so yeah, it's a it's a cool start. I know some of the other people mentioned like um. One of them saw like a commercial and thought it was funny, so I wanted to draw fan art of a commercial, and I'm like, wow, I've never thought of that. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, and I think Gut just said that he just he didn't have the internet, so that was his thing. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so why do you continue doing that? Like, what kept you going? Um, well, art eventually uh, kind of became like a way to express myself and to have something to do with my hands when I'm bored. And honestly, uh, seeing the slow but constant improvement keeps me motivated to keep creating more, just to see like how my future artwork will compare to my current artwork. And currently also being a furry, also <laughs> yeah. like you see Colin doing the artwork, because uh, furries and artwork go together like uh, peanut butter and jelly on a sandwich, I guess. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> um, yeah, so it, I, the kind of the pattern I've been hearing is that a lot of it's very intrinsic. It's like people doing it kind of for themselves, not necessarily for other people. Although I know some people have like, obviously it's cool to show stuff off, right? But uh, it's it's mostly intrinsically driven. It's kind of the, the feel I'm getting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, uh, like it comes from within, like you kind of create for yourself. Uh, like for your own enjoyment. Mm -hmm. So if you had one specific and concise piece of advice for beginners, what would that be? Uh, I'd say uh, 
keep doing it despite not reaching your exact vision, vision like uh, for a while after you start. Like it will take a long time, but you'll get there eventually. Was that yeah. concise? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, just so just like persistence, right? Just like keep keep going for it, keep going for it, right? So yeah, it, it, it'll be difficult, but it'll be worth it. Yeah, cool. So, what do you like about your art now that you weren't able to do when you first started? Uh, line art is a big one. Like, uh, when I started, I had a shaky, untrained hand, and I had trouble doing clean line art. And today, it's like, probably one of my favorite parts to do in artwork. Especially since I've recently found a style that I really enjoy doing. Now, if you could do one thing differently when you first started, so go back however many years it was, back to the days of, you know, forums, what would you change about the art process that you did back then? Uh, I was around 14 when I started, so it was a long time ago, I'm turning 27 this year, but uh, I probably would have tried to find more time to do art. Like, like I said, I was like in my mid-teens when I started. Or like mid to uh, early to mid teens, somewhere around there, and it of course meant that I had more free time than I did later, and especially now. And I feel like if I had put the time in back then, I likely would have like improved a lot faster, and I would have avoided the slow improvement that really frustrated me in the beginning. Yeah, so I guess more like a kind of like a rapid almost uh, approach at it, but that would have made it more enjoyable, or you just think you would have got more improvement out of it, and that's ultimately what you're looking for. Yeah, uh, the one thing that like really frustrated me in the beginning was just like how slow the improvement was. Um, I, I feel like um, the amount of artwork I started doing uh, became like proportional to how good I got at it. So the better I got, the more artwork I started doing. And I wish I would have done more artwork when the artwork was essentially like poorer quality. Yeah, okay, I got you. I didn't really the anything... only way to improve it is just keep doing it. Yeah, definitely. I didn't really have anything else uh, super crazy. I was going to try to keep these like relatively short. I think what, we're running on... Ten minutes. That's actually the shortest interview, but it, we were also really concise, and that's probably good for video formatting, anyways, which means less to sort out, but also like, you know, short and sweet. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I, may, I, yeah, I wrote a little bit of notes, and the rest was just that, uh, just of my thoughts. Cool. Uh, was there anything else you wanted to say as part of that, or? Uh, no. I, I think that was pretty much it. Just um, if you're interested in doing art, then uh, you can start it today. Um. It doesn't, ma it doesn't matter if it's like quote-unquote bad when you start, it's just about enjoying the uh, joy of creation. Yeah, I guess enjoying the process and also the whole idea of like, there's no better time than the present, right? So make it happen if you want it to happen, exactly, right? Exactly. So, and there's so many people I've told that to, whether it's art or anything else, and I feel like that's literally the most critical thing in anything, but yeah, so I definitely agree. <laughs> um, yeah, thanks yeah, again for your time. It's difficult. Um, and yeah, I guess uh, be sure to check out the, the Fur Affinity thing. Do you want to say that one more time, or...? Yeah, um... The oh, uh, Fur Affinity, Velocization, B-E-L-O-X-I-Z-A-T-I-O-N, and uh, Child Lawyer at C-H-I-L-D-O-L-I-R. Cool. And hopefully between those two takes, uh, Luke will find one of them that's usable, and then we can edit it in and put the letters up on screen as you're saying it or something. I don't know. Editing, right? <laughs> um, Editing. <laughs> yeah, whew. Yeah, thanks again. Um, and I guess I will see you around. Yeah, see you. Bye-bye. Adios. So, interview numero three done. I don't really have too much to say. I mean, I was really short. I think she gave some really solid advice. And yeah, a lot of history to it. I mean, what, 13 years of improvement between 14 and 27 or i guess she's turning 27 so 12 years but yeah it's solid um and hope stuff to keep going well anyways let's just get right into it um alrighty. so why did you start creating art 
I started creating art. I probably had the idea for my comic roughly like, ten years ago. Like I've just slowly like been building on the idea over and over and over. And I wanted to eventually make it a reality. Like maybe through like film or something. But then I realized that like through art I'm able to like actually make it become like reality. And that's how I first started getting into art was so that way I could start my comic. Yeah, so I guess some like some level of like you had an idea and you just wanted to see it drawn up almost, right? Like doing it for yourself. Yeah, I wanted to see it like become reality. That makes sense. Yeah, I got you. And so why do you continue making art? Um, because it's fun. I just sit back and relax and I just work on it for a little while, work on the comics, the drawings, whatever really comes to mind. And it's just a nice little relaxing way to end the day. Yeah, so just like a nice use of time, kind of cool. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I know some people obviously like they do it for one reason or another. Some people do it for like the friends that they have for stuff like that or whatever. But yeah, I mean, some people it's you know introverted, kind of thinking about themselves while they do it, right? So yeah, something else. The reason why I also keep doing art is because I have um, every single day that I draw, I create a little like. A, a journal entry, I guess is the best way to put it, for like how my day went. So it basically forces me every single day to sit down and draw something. So that way I can write down in the journal, like what I did. It's a giant like file. I think it has like 300 word documents in it or something like that. But it's also like what keeps me motivating to do as well. Why word documents? It's just my word processor that I have. Like, you said you, you put them into Word documents, like the things that you draw. Like, I type, no, 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 no. like I type out, like, my thoughts on the drawing, what I could do better. Oh, okay, I'm like, sorry, that's my bad. <laughs> as well as just, like, my general day as well. Yeah, okay. I, I, I'll be yeah, honest, I, I kind of zoned out there, so that could also partially be me. Um, <laughs> now, if you had one specific and concise piece of advice, what would that be? Ooh, that's a good one. Um... The best way to improve at your art is just practicing. But equipment is also like still a thing you need to keep in mind. Like I practiced at least six hours. I would say at least six, maybe at least like five to six hours a day. Like all summer night, just practicing over and over and over again. Just like putting in the time, putting in the hours, just to improve myself a bit. But also, if I was to do that with just a mouth. I mean, I still get really good, but it wouldn't be like the level of like a drawing cap or a drawing cap. Yeah, so I guess it's this idea of persistence, but also like you want to have something to work with, so like the, the tools almost. Yes, the tools don't make a good tool snip, but they definitely help them a little bit. Okay, yeah, that's an interesting one. Um, because actually nobody said that yet, but uh. Like, I had a friend who, I think he spent, like, a couple hundred dollars on glass pens, which are really cool. And then he went and drew, like, two things with them. So I was like, oh, you know, a little bit, a little painful. Um, but, uh... Did I send you that, um, Amazon link for titanium pen nibs? You might have. I know you were talking about that the other day. But, uh... <laughs> but what it is, essentially, is pen nibs wear away on the tablet. Oh yeah, this is the, this is the scratching of the tablet. Yeah, you told this. So it'll just scratch up your whole tablet in like a minute and completely destroy it. Yeah. And they have like extremely botted like five star reviews on Amazon. That is funny. It is. So, what do you like about your art now that you weren't able to do when you started? What do you mean by that exactly? Because I like, have a question about. That. Do you mean like when I look back at my early art now, what do I like about my current art? Or yeah, and it I could like when I first started. It could be a very broad like question that. as well. Like you could also interpret it such that like, hey, I enjoy it more now than I used to for whatever reason. I think it's more productive now. Like it could be anything. Just what do you like about um, it now that you weren't able to do when you started? Probably two things. For my um, for the first part, or um. Something that I didn't like when I first started that I like now was the organization for all the layers when I was drawing. Because it would just be all over the place. Like, 
maybe it'd have the color in one layer, the same layer as, like, the, the color, and, like, it'd just be all over the place. It'd be hard to edit, it'd be hard to breathe raw, be annoying. Now it's pretty concise and well named for each layer, so that's definitely something I'm very happy about. Would you say but, part of that's just like the learning process with like how to use different yeah. programs? So Yeah, I'd definitely say that's also part of it. Thankfully I was um pretty skilled in Photoshop before I started drawing, so that definitely helped a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I and know for um, Sorry you go. And for what I like now that I didn't realize, wait, what I like now about my drawing compared to when I look back is that my characters all have um, what I like to call choke necks. The necks are so small, they'd probably choke if they ate anything, like any piece of food. Like now the necks are much wider and they're much more reasonable, but before like a piece of food would probably choke them, the necks are so small. So, like, like <laughs> width or like height, like they just don't really exist, nice. like the necks or what? Um, like, take the very first image that I sent you, like, the one where the title doesn't have all the colors in it. Like, the second panel, yeah. it's just a super small neck. I like to call that a little choke neck, because, well, I already said it, they're mm -hmm. probably choke. Yeah, I got you. Cool. Well, if you compare it to something more recent, it's got, like, a much wider neck. Yeah, so it's kind of like this almost stylistic sort of improvement, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's definitely a solid thing, like, um, concrete, but also, you know, like, it's a one specific example, but I, you can also see that over time as well, with just people, like, more color, more whatever to, to everything, you know. Yeah. Now, if you could do one thing differently when you first started, what would you change? Like, imagine you were to go back however many years it was when you started. What would you go back okay. and do differently? Well, I go back and be different. Um, it's a hard question. It stumped a couple people. It's so. a really, really, really hard question. I, I put down like some ideas for what I was gonna say for each one. I couldn't figure out what I was gonna say for this one. This one's a really good question. I'm not gonna lie. This is a really good. Um, if you could change one thing differently from when you first started, what would you change? I would. Man, I don't know. Would you change? Um, like I'm surprised nobody said like no regrets or something. You know, like honestly, but... I can't really say. Yeah, honestly, I might just say no regrets. Cause there's not really much that I would change because what I did led me down this path here. So I don't really think I would. Yeah, I guess for better or for worse, right? As far as getting there. Yeah. Because some people are like, well, you could have done this differently, would have expedited things, would have made it faster, better, harder, faster. What's the yeah. Daft Punk song? Same time. Harder, better, faster, stronger, something. Yeah, but at the same time, it's what I knew back then that led me down this path. So I don't know if I would change it. Like, I know that's kind of an anti-climactic question, but... I mean, it's completely fine. Yeah. Like that's that's completely valid. So, uh, yeah, I'm not sure I really had anything else. Uh, did you want to plug your uh, your art thing? Um, sure. The website for the comic is www.bossforest.com. I upload every Saturday, and I also upload every Sunday on Reddit through um u slash comic. Cool. Well, hopefully people check that out. But yeah, uh, thank you for your time and thank you for the tips. I guess maybe people will Absolutely. see it and be like, yeah, thank you for the tips instead of me thanking you for <laughs> the tips. I don't know, some level of meta to this. But uh, yeah, so thank you for your time and uh, have a good one. See you around. Absolutely. Thank you for interviewing me. Yeah, you're welcome. See you around. See ya. So, that's what interview numero four done. Got that done, so... No crazy uh, insights, whatever. It's a big pattern with people talking about persistence and uh, sort of like just keeping keeping it going with things. But uh, nothing, nothing too crazy yet, right? So I guess we'll see. <laughs>
Hello. Hello. Hey, it's been like oh, a good while. <laughs> Solid minute, right? Um, it's been a hot minute. Ahead. Yeah. So, uh, I guess we'll just get right into it, right? Uh, that should be like the fifth interview. But, yep. you know, quick and easy. So, you want to ask me the question, or do you just want me to, uh... Yeah, I was going to ask the question, I was just scrolling over to it, <laughs> funny enough. Um, alright, alright. Yeah, so, why did you start creating art? Well, I, I've been doing art for like a really, really long time since I was little. And I started because it was just a way to express myself, you know? And not only to express myself, but kind of calming like putting pencil or pen or whatever to paper and then drawing out what you see in your head it is just a nice way to relax but um like as i got older i started to realize oh yeah i don't have to just keep drawing you know sans undertale for the 50th time i can draw pe people or things i actually like and i started to get into like the world of making my own characters, and it, it just kind of went from there. Yeah, I got you. Um, and it's kind of funny that Undertale was like the the origins of that. I know some other people, they said, um, <laughs> like, what, I think Gut said he started like 11 years ago or something? Or no, it was like 2011, maybe 13 years ago. But yeah, he, he started like forever ago. And um, for him, it was just because he didn't have internet and nothing better to do. But he, he you know, he enjoyed it. Um, other people were like, yeah, they... sorry, you go. That's, that's kind of the same with me. I mean, when I started drawing, I was like, shit, I don't know, five years old? Like, I was an itty bitty baby, and I've just been going from there. And the biggest recollection of how I've been, like, how long I've been drawing, apart from, oh yeah, I was drawing all, like, magnets when I was little, was in, like, or for fifth grade, I would pass sketchbooks around in my class and we just draw together just whatever came to mind. That just sounds really fun. I would love to do that. Gosh, it sounds so fun. <laughs> just write random stuff like that. I, I had I had so much balls when I was little. Oh my god. <laughs> so that's not the not kind of thing you do now. But No. No. See, I'm the type of guy, I don't care what I do with college, because people are going to know me anyways. Like, I have gone up to, like, whiteboards, and then just straight up, like, written the answers on whiteboards in front of, like, professors. Like, while we're supposed to be doing things and stuff. I just don't care, and people think it's funny, so. Yeah, um. That's so fair. Yeah. I mean, every everyone's got, like, a different level of personality, so to speak. For me, it's just, like, eh, I'd rather myself out there but i know some people it's changed over time they're like more afraid of things now than they used to be or vice versa because i stopped caring about consequences as much as i used to <laughs> anyways yeah, um that, that, that applies to art as well dude like shoot there's some people who can draw whatever they want however they want and they'll put it up for the masses and be like here's my magnum opus that i drew in like five minutes and people will like shout and go voice critical yelling stuff like yeah Oh, but then you have the other people who just doodle and they're scared to get out there. They're scared to post their stuff. So it's like, it's, it's the same thing in the, the art community as well. Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, I, I guess personality will always be one of those things that people will see. And uh, kind of regardless, I guess it's one thing online versus IRL and stuff. But yeah. So why do you continue making art? Like what keeps you going? That's a philosophical question right there. Let me get my molecule, 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 my my monocle on, and uh, get real fancy for this one. But I I continue making art because for one, it's still a way to express myself. It's to get things off of my chest while trying to I I guess giving away from my imagination and creativity to just have an outlet. But also, I like making stuff for other people to see, so... Cause I'm in like, one fandom ever, and I just- I try to make people that know me in that fandom, like, happy. So they know the content that I make, and they're like, yeah, that's that person, they make the stupid stuff! 
Yeah, I like that person. I love being that person. Yeah, so for you, you'd say it's partially extrinsic, but also like you, you do it kind of for yourself. But what do you think it leans more towards yeah. doing it for other people or doing it for yourself to express yourself? I mean, over the years, it's been a mix of both. It, it'd go one way or the other, one month, and the next month. But I guess right now, I'd say it's more so for myself. Yeah, that's but kind of the common answer I've been getting, so. I still try to appeal to people. I mean, um, where where I post my art on my Tumblr, I I try and post like something related to the fandom, and then I post about my characters, and I kind of just don't exist for a while, and then I come back like I don't know three months later and be like, hey guys, here's something I made in MS Paint, and I leave, and I come back. It's but I do make art for myself more than I um. More than for more others. People. Yeah. yeah. Cool, yeah. I mean, it's definitely interesting to think of like the thought process there. But uh, yeah. So if you had one specific and concise piece of advice for beginners, what would that be? Oh my god, dude. Take breaks. <laughs> Take breaks. Allow yourself to sit back and go, Damn, I've been drawing for a long straight? No breaks? I'm still going down. You just gotta let yourself breathe once in a while. And I'm hypocritical for saying that, because I, I... I mean, I, I sort of do that, but not as much as I should. Uh, don't let the people... Don't let the people know that. They will, but oh well. Um, yeah. That's what editing's for, right? So. But on top of taking breaks, just draw what you want to draw. If you're constantly under the pressure of what people want to see, you're gonna dig yourself into a hole really quick, but I guess that only really applies to if you're gonna draw on and try and get out there. If you're just drawing for fun, make sure to take a break, drink some water, and just lay back for a little bit once you're done drawing. Yeah, that's solid. That's actually one thing I haven't heard from anyone else. And I, funny enough, I've asked this question to like, I think what four other people at this point, and most of those answers were different. So this is one I actually didn't expect either, so. What do you like about your art now that you weren't able to do when you first started? Like, what's different and it's better or cooler? I, I'd say the way I'm able to format my art compared to when I first started. I mean, that's unfair to compare it to when I first started. So let's say, like, two years ago, my art from then to now, I have much better line composition than I did before where it's not just a block shapes, not even block, it just, it didn't flow correctly, and now I have sort of a style going. And, I guess, color composition is something you always work on over time as you keep drawing. You're sort of like, oh yeah, um, this color looks better over here, and coupled with this and that, it looks pretty good in comparison to just flat color or whatever. But also, I guess, what, what else would I, would I like now? Um, I guess just the way I draw in general, because a lot of my older art, which I don't think I posted, because frankly most artists are terrified of seeing their older art, and I say most, because some will openly want it and be like, this is what I drew 10 years ago, yeah. look at it, it's spooky! And look at my new art! It looks great! But, um... Where's I going with that? <laughs> Where was I going? Um... But... <laughs> I forgot where I was going with that. So, ultimately, you think it's like a stylistic thing. Like, you like how you sort of found your own... Your own mojo, your own branding, almost, with your art. And... You didn't really have that so much yeah. when you when you first started. Yeah, and I mean, most most people, I can't say most people, but like, a trend I've seen is the more you draw, the more you develop your own style. And I'm glad that I've started to develop my own style that I'm happy with. Yeah, yeah, it's solid. Alrighty, last question, you know, finale, right? If you could do one thing differently when you first started, what would you have changed? Actually. 
carefully study proportions and anatomy. Oh my god. Oh my god. The, the key mistake that I made when I was younger, I won't say it's a mistake, but more so a choice that I wish I didn't make, is I said, I don't need to study how to do anatomy, I'll just draw a chibi, for, chibi like the, the small cutie style, for the rest of my life. And I'm kind of stuck in that rut where, yeah, I do basically draw more detailed chibi, but at a cost where it's a lot more difficult to practice anatomy. So, in anatomy, knowing how to draw proportions correctly, I would say is a keystone for anyone trying to learn how to draw. And what, I guess, yeah, no, I'd say it'd be a keystone, because even if you're drawing humanoids or a, a farmhouse off in the distance with like a bajillion hills like a Gmod, you need to know how proportions and, in the biggest sense, anatomy works. Yeah, have you seen um, some of Guts, like, art that he's posted? Like, he's really good at anatomy. I don't know if you've noticed. Yeah, I have. If you it's need tips, crazy. like, go to, go ask him. Like, he's he's more than happy to sit down and have a conversation <laughs> about that. But, uh, yeah, cool. Um, I do, I usually I ask people if they want to plug things at the end. Do you have anything you want to plug? See, I could, and I should, but I feel like if I plug it, because I'm only in one niche fandom, it's it's like it's like a Homestuck situation where like, yeah, I'm in this cool fandom with like two people ever, but like nobody knows about it, or nobody gravitates around it, so there's like no, <laughs> no point in plugging it, because I'm just like, you guys can go here, but I only post about the, the, the cool people that like, Brain men who kill each other in like brutalist fashion. Like, who, who follows that except like two people? No, no one. I mean, um, alternatively, you could always post this video to that group and say, hey guys, we did it, we made it, <laughs> we got an interview or something. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh. Guys, I made it. Yeah. Um, Some furry in a VC interviewed me about stick figures. <laughs> Guys, guys, look! I like I hold it up like it like it's a giant poster board. I made it. I made the big league. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you don't, if you don't want to plug anything though, don't worry. Um, some people did, some people didn't. So kind of up to you. But I guess I'll I'll plug my my Tumblr. My Tumblr. If you are interested in um madness combat of all things, is. Hold on, I should have gotten the page prior to this. I feel like a grandma in her 90s. Um, my blog on tumblr.com is slimmest slime. There's there's only one slime out there that, that does the the gray people murdering art. And I think that's me. I hope that's me. If you want to type a link in the Discord real quick, that way it'd be easier to edit. That'd be uh, great. Um, uh, yeah. Hey, perfect. Look at that. Um, so yeah, go check that out. Um, and I don't know, you want to say anything else before I disconnect and then vanish off into the abyss? Bro goes out at render distance like he's here, O'Brien. Um, I, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Art Art's pretty cool. Uh, it's, it's, pre it's a pretty cool thing. Um, yeah. Yeah, and I guess if some of the people end up watching the video and are like, wow, that's actually a cool thing, who knows, maybe they'll end up at the end of the video with fan art. Who knows? I don't know if you've seen that, that no, section it's... at the end of the video, but uh, we tried to, I tried to start that because I thought it was cool. But yeah, so thank you for your time. Uh, it's greatly appreciated. Uh, and thank you for having me here. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, I guess I'll see you around. See you. Yep. Adios. Bye. Bye. So, what, number five done? I don't really have too much to say. Um, it's one of those things where I guess uh, some of the answers are the same, some are different. It is really interesting to see personality shine through in some of these interviews, uh, especially that one. But yeah, it was like, what, 15 minutes, so about middle of the pack, but yeah. Alrighty, so, hello, how you doing? <laughs> no, it's the usual, just chilling. Yeah, I got you. So, um, I guess let's get started with the whole interview thing. 
So, why did you start creating art? Oh, funny. I uh, mainly got impressed by uh, other anthropomorphic artists. Like, I can't, I can't say their names specifically, but the second I joined Discord and before that, and influenced by several YouTubers too, like Chip Flake and I can't remember the others. Yikes! It wasn't the best at first, but still cute. I mean, that's what I wanted. Yeah, so you just wanted to like make stuff for those people, or? I just want to make cute art. When my first OC chip wasn't was just started to like I just drew giant ears and someone called it a rabbit and I just went with it. Yeah, I got you. Is that like I don't know? You didn't really answer the question, so I was saying like, hey, why did you start creating art? You know. Um, yeah, influenced by other anthropomorphic artists. So you were interested because you saw other people who did it as well? Yeah. Alright, okay, cool. Yeah, I got you. So the there's there's some inspiration with that. So why do you continue making art? Like, what keeps you going with that? One of my crazy ambitions was to be a furry or furry-ish YouTuber. I wanted to improve, so I started making it one of my hobbies. Yeah, so you just want to like... Yes, it was, uh, you also want like character stills and stuff like that on like, the side, or...? It was like something to pass the time and stuff. Yeah, that's fair. I got Mainly you. as an introvert. Yeah, yeah, I got you. That makes sense. If you had one specific and concise piece of advice for new artists or beginners, what would that be? Well, the main thing I have to say is, like, art styles change, and they're supposed to. Well, as long as you're enjoying it, it will automatically flow into you, like, Oh my god, this is what I have to do, with, this is what I have to do, and this is what I have, to, have been doing. Just, uh, if you're enjoying it, just uh, stick to it, it will flow into you automatically. And if you're, like, trying to be a perfectionist, just don't push it. Just stick to what you're used to, try something else for a bit, and then gradually the newer style just swoops in. Yeah, I got you. That's, uh, that's very reasonable. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> so... One more thing. Okay. When you're looking at your old ad and you feel like crap, you're not the first. Yeah, I guess a lot of artists are kind of like that, so that makes sense. Now, what do you like about your art now that you weren't able to do when you first started? Like, what shifted and you think it is much better currently than it used to be? If you look at my old art, my first concern was the lack of structure. Because it looks like the circles were going everywhere. And the paint colors, plain colors too, I guess. Because I've been using like dull colors instead of adding shading and stuff and it was my first try at digital art so that's fair yeah that makes sense i got you um so it's a lot of like stylistic things that you like like the, the color as an example of the yeah. style so cool and as like a last question right if you could do one thing differently when you first started so say you were to go back however many years it was to when you first started making things what would you change? I would slap myself, say don't draw the same circle over and over. Like always be drawing something new, or...? It, would, it, would, it wouldn't change anything. And uh, erasing is fine, just don't undo it. Because every circle you've done is something that has to be there. According to your mind. Okay, yeah, that actually makes sense. Um, that's actually not something I would have thought of, but that's actually kind of deep. And when you say you, know, when you said you would have slapped yourself for drawing the same circle eight times, do you just mean like don't, don't overthink it? Like, what's your? Yeah, don't overthink it. It's, even if it's hundred and fifty times, it's it's just still the same circle, really. Yeah. Okay. That's actually really interesting. I guess you can find ways to sort of weave it in there, even if it doesn't entirely make sense immediately. But yeah, that's actually really cool. But yeah. Perfect. Thank you for your time. Right, good night. See ya. 
Alrighty, so that's what, another interview done. I'm not sure how long that one lasted, probably not quite as long. Bit of a, a language barrier, wasn't entirely sure. But uh, yeah, it was actually kind of interesting. Like there were some things that were definitely very important, so. Alrighty, so I'll, so I will preface this with uh, my allergies are pretty bad today, so if I do sound a little bit off, uh, my apologies for that. But uh, anyways, now. So, why did you start creating art? Um, so, why I started creating art? It's probably because I have all these cool and edgy ideas that pop into my head that I wanted to start to visualize, and so I started drawing it, but they don't usually turn out exactly as edgy and cool as I envisioned it. And also, art is just one way for me to express my emotions. Yeah, I got you. Um, I think a lot of people are kind of the same way like that. It's, um, I mean, a lot of expression, but beyond that, like, just having ideas, you're like, hmm, this would be really cool to like, make this, you know? So... But what keeps you going? Like, why do you continue making art? Uh, I continue on making art. I think it's because of the people that compliment it. Like, they like my art and so they praise me for it. And knowing that some people actually like the thing that I worked hard on and given so much effort it gives me a boost of confidence to continue making more artwork. Yeah. Yeah, I got you. That actually makes a lot of sense. Um, so a lot of people, like in the previous interviews, they were very uh, intrinsically driven. So um, for them, that just meant that they, they did it for themselves. I didn't really care how much they shared it, whatever. But I also understand that extrinsic drive, right? Like, it's, it's, it's nice to basically show someone something and be like, wow, that's really cool. That's really good, you know? So. Yeah, I just like to get praised. I don't know if that's a good reason. I mean, it's fair. Like, I, I teach their own, you know? I mean, everyone's got a different reason for stuff, so... True, true. If you had one specific and concise piece of advice for beginners, what is it? Okay. So, uh... My advice is that... Just don't take too much time working on... Just that one art. Like... Like just that one artwork, like just if you're new to making art, it's okay for it to not look perfect like you envisioned it actually. So, and if it looks good enough, then it's time to move on. There is more artwork that you got to make. It's, it's just simply quantity over quality if you're a starting out artist. Not saying that. You don't put any effort into making art, just that too much effort can sometimes lead to burning out. Yeah, it's actually really interesting, because I know with the stuff that I make, I I kind of actually followed that pattern, where I started off very, very, very basic. Like, you remember the first sticky notes I posted on the server, right? Yeah. So, very basic stuff, right? And then it just slowly became a little bit more like, I was like, oh, hey, what if I added shading? That's cool, right? And then... I, uh, at one point I started tracing over the line art a second time, so it's a little bit more crisp, but, uh... But, although, uh, that is, uh, experimenting, though, so I think it's actually good for, good for you, good for your, uh, practice, good for practice. Yeah, definitely, um, but I do agree it's interesting, like, the, to not spend too much time on something, because I feel like most people, like, intuition says that's backwards, but... I agree with that, actually, like, starting off simple and then, uh, you know, moving on. So what do you like about your art now that you weren't able to do when you started? What I like, uh, I can say, I can't say, but uh, when I started, I was quite slow in making art for each artwork, I was very slow. And you know, uh, just the more you draw, the better you get at drawing. So currently now, I draw much fast faster and more efficient compared to when I was just starting. 
which is what I like about my artworks currently. You know, fast and efficient. Yeah, like there's a like a drive to it, right? Yep. Practice makes perfect. You know. Yeah. Kind of reminds me though, like you remember the like you made the the outro screen for the channel, right? Like we've used that for I think pretty much every every video. But how long did that take you, for example? Wait, what at what outro that? Uh, uh, have you ever uh, noticed like the last ten seconds of the of each video that's the same image? Are you sure, really? Yeah. Uh, I don't really watch uh, until the end though. Yeah, I mean, that's fine, no worries, yeah. It, it's one of the things you made, yeah. I asked you for permission for that, like, forever ago, and you said, yeah. I don't know if you forgot about that, but, uh... That's crazy, what? Yeah. yeah. What? I'll check it out later. It's the thing that's, uh, pinned, actually, in our DMs, the, uh... The dog and, uh... Like, the rabbit or whatever sitting on a hill. But, yeah, I, I just thought that was really pretty, so I was like, you know what? Uh, this is the outro now, so it looks really cool, it's called. And, in a way, it's, like, a nice end. So. Yeah, that's very cool, man. Yeah, so last question, you know, final question. If you could do one thing differently right. when you first started, what would you have changed? Like, go back however many years it was to when you first started. What would you have told your old self to do? Alright, so... Uh, when I started, I actually just... I think... Uh, no, I, I don't want to be a, I don't want to both anything, but I feel like I had a talent and art. So, you know, when I was just a kid, I just know how to draw, even though no one teach me anything. So I just went forward with it. You know, I, I don't watch any tutorials. No, no, nothing. No, no one teach me anything. I just uh, um, delve into making an artwork. And just learn by the process, figure out things in my own way. And uh, at some point, I got lost on what to do and what to improve in my art. And you know, I've, I learned to. Um, I got an idea to finally learn some art tutorials. I mean, to watch art tutorials, and I learned quite a lot of things that would have been very beneficial for me when I was just starting. I could... Uh, my art now would have been much better if I just started watching art tutorials before I started making art or when I was just starting to make art. Yeah, it's actually really interesting. Uh, I had, I think, one person who said that uh, he wouldn't have changed anything, so like he was completely fine with his art. But... Um, yeah. yeah, a lot of people, like, going back, they're like, I would have tried a little bit more with this or that, and I guess with you, you're like, I wish I would have, like, I guess thought more about it, right? Because, um, like, the natural talent, but then that in combination with, like, people who have already been doing it for years, right, that would have been very beneficial, so. You know, I think just watching tutorials was is a very boring process. You know, I just learned to watch tutorials when... I just start when I started college. Yeah, I mean that makes sense. Yeah, I, it's definitely a bit of a grind. I know for me, I have to watch a lot of tutorials on like assembly language because computer engineering, and it uh, it sucks. It takes forever. But uh, I mean, it's kind of like a necessary evil to get better with it, right? So college, am I right? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, thank you for your time. It's been uh, it's been good. So, would you like to plug anything? Cause like the end of the interview, or uh... yeah, the the end of the interview, like the plugging of the 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 website. Oh, the, yeah. Yeah, like would you like to plug uh, your your itch .io or? Uh... Yeah. So, um, you can check me on itch .io on mimosa that itch .io. Check out my um, indie game indie games. And probably I'll make some devlogs in the future. Yeah, cool. Well, uh, thanks again for your time. And uh, I guess I'll see you around. Yeah. Cool. Wait, Thank uh, you. See ya. You're welcome. Adios. And the final interview. It is done, right? Even with all the allergies.
that was probably the fastest interview. Um, like hands down, I don't think anything. Actually, I'm not sure. Maybe it's not the fastest one, but uh, I thought it was actually one of the more useful ones as well. So we'll see. Now, to summarize all this information for the people who skipped to the very end of the video for whatever reason, the best advice we'll collectively give is pour your heart out into something if you really enjoy it, and you'll go far. The rest of the art will come naturally, and there are plenty of other tutorial videos out there if you need help with specific things like eyes or arms or poses. Of course, there's also the Discord as well if you'd personally like to reach out to one of the artists for advice. Hopefully all the advice they've given helped in some way with art should you decide to start, and if not, no worries either way given just how many artists we already have. There's no pressure to feel like you need to do something just because others do it, and in fact, I'd say try to find something most people aren't good with, and who knows, maybe you even might become a part of the YouTube team someday if you reach out. Tangent aside, thanks again to everyone involved in this video. Y'all have been a huge help so far, and the fan art's nice to see as well. The Patreon is in the description if you like this type of content, or the random projects that we work on from time to time. And as always, have a good one, y'all. What if Albert Wesker was hot? Albert Wesker is hot. Yeah, I was about to say, isn't he already? Like... TQ gay, confirmed. You've not seen the screen shots from VRC, that's all I'm gonna say.